सो हे गाइज एंड दिस इज सैमसंग एस ट्वेंटी टू अल्ट्रा वर्स इज शॉमी ट्वेल्व थ्रो स्पीड एस बैटल बोथ दीज आर अमेजिंग मैक्स आउट डिवाइस फ्रॉम सैमसंग एंड शॉमी एंड बोथ दीज गॉट स्नैप ड्रैगन एट जेन वन सिलिकन सो इट ऑल कम्स डाउन टू मी आई वर्स इज वन यू आई एंड हाउ एल दे मेड यूज ऑफ दैट पावरफुल सी पी यू येस आई एल बी ऑल्सो शेयरिंग लॉट्स ऑफ इमेजेस आई शॉट यूजिंग बोथ दीज डिवाइज सो मेक श्योर टू वॉच इट टिल दी एंड So yeah booting both these devices and here we go Samsung versus Xiaomi One UI versus Mi UI latest OS on both 12 gigs of RAM in both these devices and this is going to be an exciting one Okay so Samsung wins in this one and Xiaomi was like 2 seconds late Now fingerprint scanner test and Samsung clearly is like way fast than Xiaomi testing it again and Samsung is way fast in there. Yes guys, I have disable all the battery saving options in both these devices and the controversial GOS on Samsung. So full power on both these devices. Here we go with dialer that is fast on Samsung, messages and that again is quick on Samsung the animations and all. Play Store and same on both these devices. The listings and all. This Call of Duty game listing is fast on both. So now camera and that is same on both. The front facing selfie shooter, however, is quick on Xiaomi. Settings is fast on Samsung and I wanna show you guys the design difference. Hole punch on both. The exciting part is both these devices got second gen LTPO and max out resolution. So this was some basic stuff. Now moving to some heavy games like Angry Birds and from now on you will see the real difference. 8 gen 1 silicon full power MIUI versus 1 UI potential. So that is a little quick on Xiaomi, not a huge difference at all. Genshin Impact a magical high graphic game cost like 15 gigs in total that is like an insane data and this game got tons of characters and magical powers in there so this is like an addictive game okay so in this one samsung wins by huge margin and again i have disable gos so it is full power you are seeing right now The gaming experience was amazing on both these devices. Xiaomi was lagging a little and Samsung got a bit warm, but overall experience was great. Now PUBG, an amazing game. You can play this with your friends and family. Got exciting maps and modes. Yeah, I play this game a lot, like 4 hours continuous sometimes. So yeah and this one too Samsung wins by huge margin and the graphic settings are set to max in both these devices you can see So the overall gaming experience was nice in both these devices no lags or hiccups at all this is the first time i'm using a samsung flagship with qualcomm cpu so now gangster vegas a game like gta you can drive cars or get a house or fight anyone this is like a free world game
So in this one once again Samsung wins by a small margin. Now some social media apps like Instagram and that is quick on Samsung once again. My profile is fast on both. Make sure to follow me on Insta for some sneak peek of what's coming next. Reddit and that is like way quick on Samsung once again. The MS Word 50MB document and skipping the process part and Samsung without any doubt is like way fast than Xiaomi. So now exporting and rendering a 1080p video file, here we go. Okay, so can be seen Samsung is like 4 times faster than Xiaomi in this race which is shocking. Without any doubt, Samsung is the winner of this race. So here is RAM management test and dialer, that is sort of refresh on Xiaomi, Play Store, Angry Birds, Genshin Impact is a refresh on both and I saw that coming cause it's a heavy game, PUBG, Gangster Vegas, Instagram, Reddit and Settings. So both did amazing job in this test and of course Samsung is the winner overall by huge margin in terms of booting, in terms of fingerprint scanner, in terms of opening most applications, Samsung is like way quick in all these games and apps. Here's the Geekbench score for those who care about benchmark, way high on Xiaomi and not to mention Geekbench has been Samsung flagship after the GOS issue. Now some images I shot using both these devices and I must say both these devices have done an amazing job in terms of daylight images, the colors, dynamic range, white balance, contrast is perfect in both these devices. Xiaomi can do max out 2x zoom which is nowhere near 3x and 10x zoom of Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. The indoor shots and both were great there, the color accuracy and details. In the night images, however, you just cannot beat Samsung in this department. Xiaomi no doubt have done great, but Samsung is way good in nightography. This device is a monster in terms of photography. This is all guys, thanks so much for watching. Your thoughts in the comment section below and like, subscribe. I'll meet you guys in the next one. Peace out.